Hello everyone, Lumpy here for Scan Computers, and this will be my first view on the Scan Computers YouTube channel. So uh, let's get right on into it. So here we have the TP-Link N600 router. Now this particular model in the N600 of the range is the TDW9980 version, uh, and this is a VDSL and ADSL2 router modem combined, everything in one. It's, it's ridiculous. It has so much features on it, it's, it's absurd. So in this box, you obviously you get the router and a few different cables. You get two ADSL cables, the Ethernet cable, power supply, uh, and the splitter cable for your phone and internet. But it also, the router itself, can be used in a multitude of different setups. So if you are from the UK, like myself, uh, you have a number of different ISPs that provide different fiber uh, sort of options. Now this will work flawlessly. It will just plug in and play into an in system on BT Infinity and TalkTalk Talk Fiber such VDSL 2 connections. So if you are sort of using one of the newest BT Infinity setups, uh, this will work. It actually integrates really well into those setups, you know, because it, it can just do that, it just fits it in. And also ADSL 2 Plus, it can fit into those settings as well. So if you are from the UK and have these sort of setups, you can use it. Which is easy, great, just plug in and play, so useful. If you're on Virgin Media, you may want to look into setting up your router, your current ISP router, uh, into modem mode if you're going to be buying one of these and then uh, you know using it that way. Or maybe look at one of the other TP-Link solutions for cable routers uh, that they do offer. So yeah, that's how it is. So right now I'm going to show you what this thing can do outside of the box and how to set it up with a variety of different setups. So enjoy. So outside of the box, what does the N600 router have to offer? Well, being a dual band router, it can provide two wireless networks off the one router. Your 2.4 gigahertz sort of wireless will be used for your general uh, sort of internet surfing and all that sort of stuff. And the five gigahertz wireless network will be used for your HD streaming and gaming. So you can have a nice split of who uses what internet sort of access point in the house, which is a really, really nice feature. Love it. Obviously on the back you have your four Ethernet ports, one being a WAN port. These are gigabyte ports as well, so if you want to hardwire streaming and all that sort of good stuff, the data on these will be fantastic. Also you have two USB sharing ports that can be used for printers and cloud sort of hard drive setups, a WPS button, a reset button, and a Wi-Fi on-off switch. This is a really nice feature I find because you don't have to turn the whole router off to just turn the Wi-Fi off in the house. And you don't have to go into the browser either, which is awesome. Obviously on the front as well you have all the magnitude of different lights that tell you different things of what's on, what's off and all that crazy stuff. So you're probably also wondering how easy is it to set up? How easy is it to integrate into your current setup? Well, I'm about to show you that now. Okay, so you've plugged in your router, you've plugged everything in, all your ethernet cables and your wireless is sort of, uh, you know, connected up. And this is what you'll be presented with. Uh, you'll be presented with a startup screen in the browser. Now to get to this, there is a URL that is supplied uh, with you in the box, but obviously, you know, you can also type in your IP address and you'll get to this window with it uh, hardwired in using Ethernet. So you'll be presented with something very similar to this uh, and, you know, sort of thing like that. And it'll be asking for the quick setup. This is where you want to go through first. You want to obviously hit next, enter in all your region, all that sort of stuff, hit next. And this is where you get two options. You have the wireless router mode and the modem router mode. Now, for BT Infinity users, it depends on what you have been given by the ISP. Before, uh, back in sort of, you know, a couple of years ago, they had a white modem and then the BT Home Hub router. Now, what they've done recently with the recent sort of, you know, changes is they've actually combined those two units into one. You actually only have one unit now. Uh, so for that, you're going to want the modem router mode. Uh, if you only have, if you have the one unit, you don't have the white modem. But if you have the white modem, you want wireless router mode because obviously you just want to act as a router, not a modem. But for everything else, you want modem router mode. For Virgin Media users, if you're using high-speed Virgin Media, uh, there is obviously uh, a cable coming in, not a sort of ADSL phone line. So you're going to want to set your router to modem mode, which there is in the settings, or look at maybe one of the T other TP-Link products that is for cable internet only. So we obviously want modem router mode. So we hit next. It will also now here, you can have a list of all the different ISPs uh, from, you know, Plusnet, Sky, all that sort of stuff from VDSL all the way down to ADSL. Obviously, we want VDSL because, you know, it's the high-speed version of ADSL. But we don't want ADSL because we don't want to limit ourselves. So, and next, it'll ask you now for a username and password. Um, the username and password for BT stuff generically is BT Home Hub at btbroadband.com. That is it. Password blank, nothing. That is generic. That is nothing special. If you phone at the ISP, that's what they'll tell you to do. Virgin, I'm not too sure how, what it is for them, but you're making probably Google it, and that's how simple it is. It is literally for the PPP, PPPOE setting. That's it. And next, and now it'll run you through all the sort of settings for your wireless sort of, sort of stuff. You hit save, 
go through its settings, and that is how simple it is. It literally is a few clicks away from setup, boom, and it's away, and that's how easy it's done. And then once it's finished, configuring all that sort of stuff, it will present you with the status screen that shows you all of the settings for your router. And that's it, you're away. Then you have access to all the options on the side down here, you know, your bandwidth control, your USB settings, you know, your dual bandwidth selection, all this crazy stuff that you can have fun with. And that's how simple it is to set up. So some of the other features that are available to you when you are inside of this uh, of this browser, you can obviously change all of the wireless settings, your dual band selection, all this sort of stuff is available to you and free to change if you are willing to. Obviously with the quick setup, a lot of it is just set by default. If you want to leave it that way, you're perfectly fine to do so. Um, it just allows you to be a bit more secure and maybe like you know filter out a few unnecessary things. Uh, for gamers, this is obviously going to be quite... Uh, crucial to you uh forwarding obviously if some games require you to port forward they require you to you know certain applications and, and sort of services require you to have certain ports open uh the port triggering stuff is fairly straightforward um you can obviously add a port you know you add you tr trigger ports here so i can add like say one two one 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 uh trigger all or maybe tcp uh open up whatever uh status available hit save and there it is. It literally comes down to enable selected and it's enabled. That's how simple it can be. Obviously, like when you do it yourself, you're going to want to like set it up so that it's obviously the correct ports. But that's how simple it is to be. You can literally just set the port, opens the port and the protocols are like that. If you want to go the next step beyond that, there is obviously the DMZ availability. So if you want to have like your particular host IP, which should be obviously the main piece you're looking at, you enable it, enter the host IP, hit save. And that's how easy it is. And for those sort of things, for people that want to sort of f mess around with that, it could not be more simpler on this router. So another big props to TP-Link on that one. So my final thoughts on the TP-Link N600 router, which I've got one here, are I really like it. It's really improved the wireless in the flat. This flat has a kind of a weird sort of issue with the wireless when using the BT Home Hub router. And this has actually really improved it. It makes sort of live streaming in your room. Uh, and getting sort of the Netflix sort of, sort of that sort of stuff really really nice and it's made it a lot easier also the setup was incredibly easy which is one of the massive props I give to this router the fact that ISPs aren't making it very easy these days for people to use third party routers with obviously all the integration of the modem and the router but the fact that it literally took me no more than five minutes to set up and get going and get using it was incredible and the fact that there are so many extra features on the router itself I can see you know optimizing this to be a you know a breeze and also you know it makes it the benefits there if you wish to take it but the fact that the plug and play value is so so high pair this with any like the power line adapters that were sort of ziggy's reviewed as well this will be a great sort of setup to have in a large home or a medium-sized home i mean for a small flat it is kind of feel wasted uh but i can say it has definitely improved our sort of internet usage around the house so guys, do remember to like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. If you do wish to sort of find out any more information on the N600 product on the SCAM website, click the links down below. We'll have the product page there as well as also the TP-Link page for if you wish to find out any more information. Okay, guys, I will see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day.